I couldn't be more proud of the way the American people have responded over the last seven months to the worst pandemic to strike this country in a hundred years. And I also couldn't be more proud of the leadership of President Donald Trump. You know, even before the month of January was over, before one case of coronavirus had spread person to person in this country, President Trump suspended all travel from China. Uh, Joe Biden actually criticized that. Uh, he essentially said it was racist, called it xenophobic. But President Trump put that unprecedented step in place to put the health of America first. He stood up the White House Coronavirus Task Force and bought us invaluable time to launch the largest industrial mobilization since World War II. We're now doing 800,000 coronavirus tests a day. Uh, we've, we've literally seen to the manufacture of billions of supplies of personal protective equipment. Uh, w today we have more than 100,000 ventilators in the strategic national stock Pile. And no American who's required a ventilator was ever denied a ventilator. In the midst of all of that, the American people made sacrifices, those 45 days to slow the spread. We've all been embracing those mitigation efforts and continue to, to put the health of our families and our neighbors first. But the president also made sure that the American people had support, some $4 trillion in support, directly to families, directly to small businesses, impacted by the coronavirus. So I think when we look back, uh, I truly do believe um, the day, when the day comes that we put the coronavirus in the past, um, the American people are going to be proud of what we've all done, of what we've all done to put the health of America first.